Welcome back to the final episode of these top 10 lists. This is not a top 10 list of us now. This is going to be the one that I introduced. That I said it was going to be a top 5 list. And it's going to be my top 5 favourite characters. This should take under 1 minute, this video. So in number 5 is going to be the director of the original Iron Man. Also by Happy Hogan. In Iron Man. Maybe he was introduced. He was either introduced in Iron Man the original or Iron Man 2. Don't know which one. John Favreau for his for the first his uh, first one for his first and oh, for his one of his own for his only Marvel directorial work pretty good did really well that's why he's in my top five um obviously has done other movies like I think he did like I think I did, I, if I'm remembering off my top of the head he directed The Lion King and The Jungle Book and might not be I might be wrong about that remind me in the comment section if I am wrong. But, number four is going to be the director of Ant-Man, Peyton Reed. Ant-Man obviously wasn't in my top ten list for my favourite movies, but doesn't mean it had a great director. It did. Peyton Reed did really well. Ant-Man, a good movie. Paul Rudd, uh, Paul Rudd, amazing actor. Good. He's going to be in the new Goosebumps 2020, in the, in the new Goosebumps movie, coming out next year. Maybe this year. In number three is going to be the director of... Event the event the Avengers original movie the original the movie the Avengers Josh Whedon bought a great made a great movie brought some great characters together and pulled it off number two and number one was it was number two and number one in this list was between two people you but number two I've gone with a close second the the people to direct the people that have directed the most Marvel movies, the Russo Brothers. I think a maximum of seven, six or seven they've done. Maybe li maybe less, maybe more. But that's an average. Six and an average of six and seven. That's what I'm going to say. But they're not going to be number one. And the reason why they're not going to be number one is because of one person. And that one person is Taika Waititi. Replaced the actor from... Replaced... The old actor, the old director of the Four and the Dark World when it came in um, Ragnarok, because the Four and Four the Dark World didn't really have really have good receptions. But what an amazing job he did! The funniest movie in the MCU was in was was in was on was in seventh place on my top ten Marvel movies list. But gets co but his the, the director gets on this list and number one, and also the reason the reason why he's number one is not only did he direct a funny movie, he played a funny character, one of the best characters ever to see to, for for me to to watch in the MCU. The rock, the big loving guy made of rocks, Korg. Obviously, he did all the motion capture for Korg. And voiced him. Obviously, Korg is one of those Cronins, which obviously Thor really smashed one into pieces in For the Dark World. But that is it for this, for my list, for my, for the list, for my, for this list, for my top ten Marvel directors. But until next episode, peace.